Hello, Pioneers. I hope you're well. My name is Bed, and this is Satisfactory Plus. In the last episode, we got a little busy with brass and a big power compact biomass generator module thing right over there. Makes me lots of power, and we love it. This episode, my goal is to finish Tier 3 and get trucks. Just handcrafted up 500 AI limiters so we could unlock Setmonium sorting, which is going to appear appears to give us more copper and inventory slots, which is the real draw for me right now. The four milestones we've yet to unlock of Tier 3 include the Basher, Advanced Logistics, Hydroelectric Power, and Trucks, and I'm excited for all of them. Starting with the Basher, we're going to need 2,500 screws. We need 500 brass sheets or plates, I mean, for this. Uh, advanced Logistics, I'm going to also want to... Um, automate the conveyor belt as soon as possible since I still haven't done the simple one. It's kind of annoying. Hydroelectric power is going to be cool. Increase our power generation pretty much for free, I think. And trucks. Who loves trucks? I love trucks. I hate to love them. They are so special to me. They are just so difficult to use. It's frustrating. But, I mean, we have a city, right? We got to have trucks driving around. I think it'll be really cool. Or it'll suck and we'll abandon it, but only the future can tell. To get steel, we're going to need a flexible blast furnace, an air collector, and I think a solidifier and cooler? That might be it. Look at this. Brass plates for days. It's only been running a little bit. To refresh your memory and mine, looking at the molten steel recipe, we're going to need molten iron, coal, and air. Easy peasy. Slap down an air collector, and let's build the flexible blast furnace. I think we'll make this one for iron. And then we're going to need another one for steel. Okay, for iron, it takes 60 crushed iron, makes 30 molten iron. This takes 30 molten iron and makes 30 molten steel. I'm gonna grab the crushed iron from there. Again, this is temporary. We are gonna tear all this down as soon as I get these unlocks finished because I want to start planning the future buildings for trucks. So we're gonna need garages and stuff like that. And then we just need to add a solidifier and cooler and we've got iron. Do need to decide between steel rods and ingots. I think I'll just start with the rods and get the screws out of the way because that's what we need first for the basher. Okay, I think right next to this brass, we'll throw down a constructor to do screws. Steel screws. That was perfect timing. Just popped in to see it hit 500. Oh, and this is frustrating. <laughs> I forgot to set the recipe on this one. Oh well. While we're waiting for the steel production to produce the screws and rods that we need, I may as well go pick up the quick wire that we need to unlock the milestones and maybe go get some brass plates or something like that. We'll check on the way back. I think that's everything I need for at least one of the milestones. Oh, not that one. Whoops, not that one. Forgot to grab brass. Whoops, not that one. It is this one. Right, it's hydroelectric power we can do right now. Which is gonna be cool. I'm sure of it. This is exciting. I am excited to see this. Water turbine. Oh, sweet. It's just going to be free power like we thought. How do I make rotor blades? That's the question, isn't it? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, this is exciting. 
I'm not going to run over and build these right now because that would require a bunch of handcrafting for this, which I don't want to do. I want to instead automate brass in a larger scale, but that's also not for right now. We've got 4 minutes 17 seconds before that pod comes back, and I think we should be able to get trucks going too. Yeah, so we need screws and those sh Oh, actually, if I hit this, yeah, it'll tell me up there. All that's going to require is running over here. All right, let's go for trucks. Truck stations, we can make those. We can make these. Yes, I'm so excited. We're actually already ready for advanced logistics as well. And we're well on our way to getting the basher. So we're making quick work of these milestones, which is going to be good. Then it'll give us some time to redecorate. Next up is advanced logistics because we're still waiting on some screws for the basher. So I'm right over by our slug breeding, brass, and steel factories right over there. And there's two coal nodes right here that I think I'm going to be able to extend the road right directly to, put it into a truck station, and I'm going to use one or both of these nodes to power trucks at the beginning. So we'll need to build a truck fueling delivery, coal delivery, somewhere over there where the main part of the city is going to be. Yeah, I think I'll just have a truck, uh, a tractor, excuse me, a sugar cube, come pick up the coal, drop it off into a building there, and then underneath in this infrastructure level here, I'll just run belts directly to every truck station I need. So that they'll just have an infinite supply, theoretically infinite supply of coal for fuel. That should be the last of the screws we need, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Here. That's all we need. We have... 200 extra, 210 extra, look at that. Well, it looks like we're gonna need more roads finally out this direction, so I guess I'll do those right now while I'm basically just waiting for the pod to get back for the milestone launch. And we're going to need, let's see, a miner. Oh, I can build one already. There. Perfect. So this is where a building will go, which means we're going to need another intersection somewhere around here. Or actually, let's put it right, unless this is going to hit that. I don't love that thing, but it'll be okay. We'll build around it if we have to. And now for the basher. Boy, I hope it doesn't require 2,500 screws to build the basher. That would be a lot. I don't even appear to have an equipment workshop anywhere. That's okay. Let's just check it out. Power shard crystals. Of course. Okay, so we're not getting a Xeno Basher this episode, which is a little disappointing. I am looking forward to having a little bit more firepower. I should probably, I could build a rebar gun. I should definitely do that. Yeah, let's do that. Took me seconds to run and pick up some screws, so. Okay, and ooh. Well, that's good to know. I am gonna get rid of my zapper, I think. Well, I'll carry it with me for just, for a little added protection right now. But it's good to know that we unlocked another hand slot. I didn't know that we had done that, so. And that's our goal for the day done. So I think what we will do now is set up the infrastructure that we need for the logistics. Uh, that is to say, we're going to run the coal over like I was just talking about. Looking ahead to tier four, I know here in the solar power and storage is going to unlock us the ability to make the stator 
which is going to be used to unlock coal power, among other things, advanced parts, advanced parts, hypertubes, etc. I think that's likely getting beyond the scope of this episode, so I'm going to put it out of my mind for now. Although I do have an eye for the solar power and storage just to get it unlocked. But needs must, am I right? Oh, I'm right. Let's think for a moment. Let's go to transport. We're gonna need a truck station over here to unload coal. And we're gonna need a truck station over there to load coal. That's two truck stations. And we're going to need a sugar cube tractor. Starting with that in mind, let's, um, let's head over there. I think I want a little bit more room right here. That looks about right. And we'll build the floor at this level. Oh, that was, no, actually, I am gonna have it run right into it. And I need a little bit more room. I like this idea. I'm gonna keep all of those at the road level. And here's the median. I'm gonna put the truck station just right here. I'm right in the way, aren't I? Yeah. Right there, I think. Yeah, and then the trucks, this truck can just come in right here, turn right here, get filled up, and leave. Let's start a building. Oh, I love that. So I was saying in some comments, people are saying that the con uh, the concrete really makes it, you know, feel one step closer, and I agree. But this is my favorite way to use the concrete. I love these little pock marks, these little pits. And I think it looks really awesome as walls. Okay, let's build some walls. We'll try to figure out some sort of textural detail to make this thing stand out a little bit more. Let's see, maybe zoop it that way. And get some pillars down. There, that looks right, right? Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, go for some more vertical. Yeah, I like the progress. This is a pretty good basic shape. I'm into that. And hey, I just hit 750 subscribers and I'd really love to race to a thousand. So go down there, hit subscribe and leave me a comment. Okay, I think to add a little depth on the front of this, I'm going to bump that foundation back. And then on the top of that one, I'm going to add some walls. Let's, let's make some black walls right here. Just like that. I think that should give us the depth I was looking for, yeah. Need some signs, windows. What else could we add lights maybe? Do I have any lights yet? I don't think that I do. Okay, and also from my limited experience playing Satisfactory Plus and going through the stages, I've touched on this earlier I think with um, the zinc. I needed so many zinc plates to get the to get the space elevator built and then to get through the first phase but then I haven't needed them since um, but look at this the conveyor milk uh, the conveyor belt mark threes need those brass plates so it seems pretty reasonable to guess that uh, the brass plates are gonna need to be built in a large quantity and the conveyor belt parts also require brass plates and bronze plates so I hadn't really built any infrastructure for bronze plates, but it looks like we're gonna be needing those now. And now I want to surround this miner to make it inside of, I just jumped right off. No worries. It's gonna look awfully ugly if I just make this flat like this. I 
At the risk of making it ugly, I'm going to do just that, though. What I can do is, say, trim it. Extend that this way. Maybe. I mean, this building is, what is it? Literally, it's a coal mining plant. It's a coal mine. It doesn't need to look amazing. I kind of like this brutalistic uh, look here, especially with those pillars. What can we do? We can add a ceiling. I think I want it up there. One, two, three, four. Let's see. I don't think... If I put the roof right here, I don't think I can fit ceiling lights above this. But at the risk of having to redo it later, I like the look of that. That's a good level. I do probably want some lights in here, though. Let me go see if I can unlock lights. Well, I only have two coupons, so I don't think I'm going to be able to unlock very many. And I really want all of them. Hmm, you know what I could do? At a crash site, I found some computers. And I could throw those in. I wanted to keep them for use, but... I think I'd rather have the coupons now than easier unlocks later. Besides, what's the point of using these computers to unlock things if then I need to um, build the factory for them anyway? Anyway, I, I think I'm fine with this. Let's let's throw these into the awesome sink. All right, I can throw some brass plates in there too. And yeah, those and the computers. And some lime dust, because why not? Haha, I can. All right, my first... Mark three belts coming. Pretty exciting. Uh, you know what else I can do? I was saving this for the MAM. Let me see how badly I want those um, animal protein things. This is 10 inventory slots for 100 of those capsules. So I would very much like this. But I think I want lights more right now. How close am I to getting the crystal oscillators is the next question. Diamond and crushed tin. Well, I'd say I'm pretty close to getting that. Okay, lights can wait. I did have a commenter asking what mods I was using. The only mod I'm using right now is Satisfactory Plus. And it is a suite of mods and includes other mods, I'm pretty sure, like the farming and stuff like that, except um, it, it's customized those as well. So if you want the exact same experience that I'm playing with right now, it's just the Satisfactory Plus mod. I am going to add RSS2, which I think is called Really Simple Science or Real Simple Science. It's made by the same people, K-Mods, that do Satisfactory Plus. And it's going to allow us to make some really cool billboards. Because of course I did. I was just over there. And uh, I didn't pick up, you know, iron sheets, concrete, any of the stuff I needed. So that's kind of annoying. But we have enough built right now to move on. So let's do that. There. Right there. I wanted to show you this. I... Let's see, this low energy modules. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting on for these is to get the power shard crystals, which I need to advance. But look, I discovered just quite accidentally that the three that you can plug in go right there. Isn't that so cool? The way that fits like that. I love this way of adding things to the side. It's very like, um, like Space Engineers, if you ever play that game, that, which is a lot of fun too. I should do a series on Space Engineers. Hey, write that down. There's nobody here. Hmm. All right, I think I'll make it like that's a driveway out. This can be a driveway in. Yeah, okay, maybe move these back just a little bit. Make some more driving room back here. Throw down another truck station. Right over here. Yeah, it's fine just like that. And this one's gonna unload. 
All right. Uh, oh, I did get a comment. I asked for a comment episodes ago about a blueprint, and I was shared a blueprint for a power line, and it was very inspired. I liked it very much. I haven't used it yet, but I did see that, so thank you for submitting that. I think uh, I like what you're onto. I think I'm going to take your idea and make it bigger. That being said, I do need to come up with something. I need a good way for power, uh, moving power throughout the city. But I think that's beyond the scope of this episode. I'm not ready to commit to anything like that right now. So, so until then, it's powered and that's what I'm doing. There, that's it. Perfection. One tractor, please. Oh, I love and hate these things so much. to. I should have taken that truck back. <laughs> I should have got a ride. Let's go check on the brass and the steel. Why has this all shut down? Something has happened and I'm guessing it's my fault. What? Did I turn it off? Why isn't this making anything? It's not getting any zinc. Why am I not getting any zinc? Wait a minute, I have zinc? In fact, it's zinc is flowing. What on earth has happened? Okay, somebody was telling me about how interesting this was about having to balance the ratios here. And I didn't realize this has been running so long, but apparently it's run so long where now it has filled up with crushed copper, so I'm no longer getting crushed zinc. So everything is ground to a halt, which means I need to use these handy dandy chests to get rid of excess. I need to make sure I always buffer with those, always. It's really cool. Really interesting to know. Okay, just for the time being, I flipped this current infrastructure that we have built from making these steel rods to making the steel ingots. So then we can start making the other parts we need. Okay, back at the truck station. Let's just, uh, let's just dress it up ever so slightly. With, uh, let's see. Some metal pillars, maybe? That sounds kind of cool. sort of awning.
Put some signage up. Make it look pretty cool. I need to learn how to do the RSS better. I actually, it took me forever to figure out how to do it. You have to get it in the awesome shop. Here's the RSS right here. So you get a sign gun, which is cool. Sign poles. Look at all these stackable signs, wall signs, round signs. Uh, there's hologram sign, hollow signs right here. Vanilla signs, which you have to unlock again, I think. And I assume, again, I haven't played with it because you're seeing as far as I am, that if I unlock these, they're just the regular signs and then I can use the RSS to say, put custom images on there. I assume that's how it works. And I think these either allow you to attach signs to them or have signs built onto them. I don't know, but I'm very excited to find out. But I think uh, now that knowing that now that I've added RSS, since I just mentioned it, uh, I think I'll not ever unlock this one and just go right to unlocking the RSS ones. But I'm really looking forward to playing that with that. There, that's good enough for now. We'll gussy it up later, signs, lights, and such. But what do we want to do now? I kind of done a lot, haven't we? We finished all those milestones. We got some steel production back up. I'm not even sure. I have absolutely no idea how long this is going to be edited down into. I, mean, I might be done with an episode and not even know it. Maybe I should take a break and edit. That doesn't sound fun. Though. I want to play. Okay, actually of pressing importance, I should go and check and make sure that there is crushed stone in the power plant so it doesn't all shut off. Because I don't really want to ever deal with a power cut. Oh my gosh, I literally caught it with 103 pieces remaining. <laughs> I, uh, whew, we need to fix this on a permanent basis, uh, as soon as possible. But I'm surprised we haven't had a dip yet. Let me go upstairs and take a look. Oh man, it's gonna be close. I did actually run out. I, uh, oi. This might come to a grinding stall. These are all gonna be cooled off now, aren't they? No, they're not. Let's see if I can help this faster somehow. Okay, it's actually fine. I should have looked at this first. Like, it still has 90-some pieces of the compact biomass. Uh, what, it's, what is going to happen, though, is this top floor is going to get starved. And even if it has some now... Yeah. See, this, is, this doesn't have any. It's not producing any. This one's still fully hot, though. So I think we should be able to catch up. Not a problem. At least I'm going to assume it's not a problem and ignore it for right now. Since we're getting more into city building and development right now, I want to start throwing down some modular miners on all of these nodes to make them easier to see from a distance so I can plan where I want things to be and I don't accidentally pave over another sapphire node. In fact, this road might need to be moved. I might need to un block that sapphire node. I'm tempted to reroute the road around this so it doesn't cause issues. It's so close to being able to just be blocked off somehow if I could make it look look like something. Let me just see what it would look like. Yeah, I'm okay with this. If this really bothers you, let me know. I'm going to um, keep it for right now because I don't want to undo all the work I've already done. Although, it wouldn't be that much work to do it, so I could theoretically do it. Before I get too far along. <laughs> yeah, if it really bothers you, let me know. Otherwise, I think just because there's absolutely nothing clipping to be seen right there. We'll just, uh, we can utilize that node and just move the resources elsewhere and nobody will be the wiser. All right, let's put some more miners down. There, I've got some good progress on steel already, which uh, surprises me and is awesome. Maybe we can unlock another milestone. Remember the next milestone that I thought we might actually get to unlock this episode was the solar power and storage because that's going to unlock the staters. And I think we should still do that. However, 
just before we do that one, let's do hovering because maybe I can get a hover pack. That'd be really cool. Oh my gosh, we will be able to do it. Lead frames, no problem. All of this, no problem. This rotor blades aren't going to be a problem, but are going to need to be handcrafted. Should be no problem. Smart plating. That'll be the only one that's going to be an issue. But at least now I know it. So I think I might put smart plating factory rebuilding higher up on my list. But I guess a little bit longer, we are not going to have a hover pack. Still. All right, we'll be able to do this one too when it gets back. Just go pick up some more steel. You know what would be cool? is to add some depth and detail to the city. Like maybe I don't want every road to connect. Maybe I want to have overpasses and stuff. That'd be super cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just playing, just messing around. I think that looks all right, though. Adding to it. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe to make decorating uh, in shorter periods just throwing down a beam, see if I like it, and move on to something else. Maybe that's a good way to do it for YouTube. I don't know. I've tried to figure it out before and was not successful, but maybe that's the answer. Yeah, we've got our steel in no time and we're ready to launch. Solar power. Before I wrap up here, let's just take a quick look at that. I'm guessing it's under power. Solar panel mark one. All right, so these generate power, of course. Four megawatts during the day. We have batteries now. I like batteries a lot. What do I need? Stators. Rotor silica. All right, that's cool. Is that all there is to it? Let me double check in the milestone itself. Okay, scanning cryolite, we already had that. Mark one, power storage stator, simple photovoltaic cell. So that's probably a part in carbon mesh. Yeah, so the solar panels need the carbon mesh and those photovoltaic photovoltaic cells. Photovoltaic. Needs glass and probably silica. Yeah, that would be my guess. And it was. All right, and the carbon mesh is produced in the weaver with carbon dust. How cool is that? We need carbon dust and water. Where do we get carbon dust? Oh, interesting. We don't. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it. I think we've made a lot of progress. We messed with coal. We got our truck going. We hid something that will never be mentioned again. We did some steel. We unlocked a bunch of milestones. We marked a bunch of miners. I think we've made a lot of good progress and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Please subscribe, it really helped me out. We're trying to race to a thousand subscribers right now. Comment, leave a like, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Oh crap, uh, I'm glitching, I'm inside of a container. Beep beep. Look at it go. I love that.